example is so y square plus z square bracket of p plus x bracket y q minus z equal to 0. So, this is not arranged form in the Lagrange's equation. We have to rearrange. So, here we can't do anything. Keep as it is. That is y square plus z square of p plus here you open the bracket x y q it will become x y of q plus into minus is minus x into z is what here x z equal to 0 or this can be written as y square plus z square of p plus x y of q shift this minus x z to the right hand side it will become x z so this is of the form this is of the form pp qq is equal to r is equal to what here r so where what is r here uh, sorry what is capital p capital p is nothing but coefficient of small p that is y square plus z square capital q is xy and uh, capital r is xz so therefore the auxiliary equation is dx upon capital p equal to dy upon capital q is equal to dz upon capital r so we know p q r apply here so therefore we'll get dx upon y square plus z square dy upon xy and dz upon the value of r that is xz now you observe carefully so if i take first two pair so it is uh, not able to integrate directly if i take first and third not possible but second and third possible so which is the first uh, possible we'll take it immediately so choose second and third fraction So what is second and third? Second is uh, dy upon xy is equal to third one is dz upon xz. So you can find here x x cancel. So left we left with dy upon y is equal to dz upon z. So therefore, so y dy with y and dz with z. So no, directly we can integrate. So before that I will interchange. Uh, so dy upon y interest inside uh, shifted to the left hand side minus dz upon z is equal to 0 on integration on integration what happens here so integration of 1 upon y dy minus integration of 1 upon z dz is equal to here arbitrary constant I will say as a okay so on integration what is integration of 1 upon y it is log y minus integration of 1 upon z is log z is equal to here i will take as log of c2 because already i have taken uh, uh, here, uh, sorry uh, c1 log of c1 so log all log so that's why a can be written as what here c1 so we will simplify on simplification log y minus log z that is log a minus log b is nothing but log a upon b which is nothing but log of y upon z is equal to log of c1 log log cancel y upon z is equal to c1 is the first result by taking what here uh, second and third pair now if you go back so just come back here so here if you see uh, second and third we have taken so next it is not possible so to make possible we have to choose a multiplier so we have to choose a multiplier such way that so if i take this y square plus z square xy and xz it means i need to multiply in a such a way that if i add with this all i should get answer zero so we'll see so see here uh, I can multiply here see here y square is there so to make this one uh, we can uh, choose the multiplier as see I have taken uh, rewritten this one and I have equated equal to k so so we have to choose a multiplier in a such way that I will choose here multiplier as first multiplier as x 
then here we'll choose as minus y and here we'll choose as what here minus z so what happens we'll see so i have multiplied what here x so only you take x dx then y minus y means we have to write minus y dy minus z we have taken so minus z dz is equal to this k times so right hand side so for this what we have multiplied x so x into y square minus uh, sorry plus z square minus y times the denominator of dy that is xy minus z into denominator of your dz that is xz so just check what happens here k times open the bracket x into y square plus into plus is plus x into z square then here minus x into y y that is x y square minus x into z square now you check so x square x z square x z square cancel x y square x y square cancel it is zero because zero into k is zero so therefore what left hand side left here x dx minus y dy minus z dz so this is ready to integrate now on integration on integration what happens here integration of x is x square by 2 integration of y is y square by 2 integration of z is z square by 2 is equal to i will take as a b integrating constant lcm is 2 that is x square minus y square minus z square is equal to 2b which is nothing but c2 i will take so which implies x square minus y square minus z square is equal to c2 give equation number 2 so therefore the solution is the general solution is the general solution is what here uh, f of c1 comma c2 equal to 0 so f of so c1 we got uh, y upon z and c2 we got x square minus y square minus z square so this is in this way we have to complete the problems here